Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Today I'm going to install a mailbox, uh, namely the mailbox post. I am going to put a new mailbox itself on this jumbo mailbox. I'll show you how big it is compared to my other one out there. So I actually have my mailbox out there. It's actually doing pretty good, but uh, the neighbors has uh, seen better days. And so I'm going to go ahead and fix his up as well. And um, the trick here is the easiest way I found to set up a mailbox post. And that's with this guy. So this is a large ground screw. And it's made specifically for a 4x4 post to uh, get uh, screwed in right there. So you screw this into the ground. And it's claim to fame is no dig. Um, so it works well for standard soil. You know, if it's really sandy soil or fairly rocky soil, this won't work so well. This obviously is not going to uh, drill a hole through rock or anything like that. And in sand, it won't have enough bite to uh, to grab. So it does need to be some kind of loamy or clay, you know, um, a regular type uh, soil to, to work. But I'm going to show you how easy and quick it is to put this in. And, um, and then I'll show you the results at the end. Alright, so this one is several years old. That's what I use for my other one. So I'm going to reuse this one and then we'll use a new one for the other post as well. Alright, so you put these in, just press it down. Start it by hand, try to keep it straight. All right, there we go.
all right so i got them done here and uh they're a little bit uh, at a different height mine's a little taller because of the the post i didn't feel like uh cutting it down but i will say the new anchor ground anchor i bought this time i liked a little bit better because it has uh the narrow start and it makes it easier to get started to screw in so i'll put a link to that in the description below um, but for both of them it took about 20 minutes to do so it's a very quick way to set up a post Hopefully you liked this and it was helpful. Now, the only tools you needed was um, really an impact gun. Uh, they come with the lag screws with like a 10 millimeter bolt head. Um, so use those to put it in. The only other tools you need besides the, the screw gun or an impact gun would be a, a level and, uh, and obviously the, the socket for the 10 millimeter. But uh, it, it's basically everything you need other than those two things. Like I said, it's pretty quick and easy and i use that one for uh, many years over and then i'm in michigan so we have the freeze thaw cycle and obviously it doesn't go down below the uh the, the freeze line but um it stayed um straight and true and didn't have any problems so uh, you might have seen me when i was taking it out it, it was in there good um and tight still even after uh, several years so um they seem to be a good easy uh easy method to put a mailbox in and uh you know if you have a decorative um, mailbox where it has the sleeve that goes over a 4x4 this works well for that because th then that sleeve hides this anchor and you can't tell and you don't have to worry about digging a big um, uh, hole for your 4x4 that then is going to rot um, in the ground even if it's uh, treated they'll eventually rot and, and get weak so this uh, this uh, reduces that issue and then uh, like I said it's much quicker and easier so and it's also cheap it's like 23 bucks or something for the anchor so uh, take care and enjoy